Yeah. Great, great. Y'all got anything? No, we can go if you want to. <laughs> okay. How's uh, Wayne, or Wayne Gallen looking? How's his ankle? All right, perfect. Good, good place to start. That's what I was going to fill you in. I know you're going to ask. Uh, Ray, Ray, and Crowder uh, are not ready to play, so they're not going to play this week for sure. Uh, McKenzie and Gallman are much better, and uh, you know they're just kind of still day to day, kind of game day deal, but uh, they're much better. Uh, pretty pleased with, with, with where they are right now. Uh, Gibson and Kendall Joseph, you know, had had a hit collision yesterday, so they're kind of uh, concussion symptoms, so kind of going through the concussion protocol. So they'll be out this week, um, based on that yesterday. And then uh, the only other thing that I wanted to bring y'all's attention, and uh, it's just amazing uh, because I was just talking about this in the press conference yesterday about, you know, these are these are real people, and sometimes life happens. And uh, you know, come out of the press conference yesterday, and that's exactly what happened. Got a little life happening, you know, <coughs> but uh, Joe Gore. Um, is, is is fine. He's not in trouble. and done anything wrong. But he but he's got a little personal crisis issue that he's that uh, you know he's having to deal with right now. And so he missed practice yesterday, and he had to miss practice today. We hope to get him back, uh, and we will get him back probably either tomorrow or Friday sometime. But um, so he'll be with us, uh, available this weekend. But but uh, Fru Morgan's going to start. And uh, so the biggest thing on Joe, again, he's fine. Just, you know, you know keep him in your prayers because, again, you know, some, you know, life happens. And, um, you know, these are just normal people. And sometimes, uh, you know, personal things pop up. And there's more important things than football. And so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll love him through what he's dealing with right now. And, and uh, you know, again, hopefully he's back tomorrow, definitely by Friday. And, uh, but he, he will definitely not start this week. Uh, Fru Morgan will. All right. Questions? Any questions? How's Kelly Bryant responded this week? It's good. I mean, he's go back to work. You know, he's a great competitor. Uh, had a bad play, and you know, we're gonna put him right back in there. And you know, he's he's a he's a, he's here because we recruited him because he was a great player in high school, and he's gonna be a great player at Clemson. Um, but uh, you know, he get another opportunity, and he's just gotta you know, take care of the ball. Saturday, uh, Joe had moved over to to left tackle. Fru Morgan came in at right. How, how did he perform, and how do you expect Fru Morgan to do in, in what will be a first start for him? Be just fine. He'll be just fine. Great player. He's not a he's not a rookie anymore. He's we're in game eleven. <laughs> he's played quite a bit, and uh, he's played well. And he's practiced a ton, and he's he'll be just fine. Um, rock and roll. Based on what you've seen from Wayne and Kenzie that they're doing better, would you consider limiting them? Just We're going to do whatever we got to do to win the game. Uh, but, you know, right now, again, they're much better today. But, you know, we're going to see them tomorrow. So we can't can't say anything right now. And then, uh, you know, probably be a game day deal with them. Um, but uh, pleased with, with what, I've, what I've seen. Tomorrow like I was good on McKenzie and all that. We have any issues there. Who do you like to punt return right now? Uh, G Hop is going to start this week, and uh, you know I liked his mentality last week. Did a nice job, and, and was really about a uh, blade of grass away of, of taking one to the house. Uh, just tripped a little bit. You know, same guys. We're going to continue to work. Uh, G Hop and, and um, thirteen and Artavis. Those are our three guys, and they'll be they'll be the three guys the rest of the way. Who's been working backing up Mitch Hyatt? Uh, Mac uh, works over there. Fru works over there. Uh, Hearn works over there. Same guys. I mean, we roll those guys all over the place. The only one that doesn't really move around much is Crowder. Not not a lot of <laughs> options for Crowder. Uh, he can play center. Uh, but that's the best part about our offensive line right now. We got a bunch of guys that uh, really know our system, and you know, we just all of them can play. I mean, we lose Crowder, and Maverick Morse goes in there, and you know, we haven't missed a beat. Uh, Maverick is, is, is going to be a great player. Uh, Fauci's played a lot this year. He can go in there. If, if, if we had to have him right now, he's great. Ryan Norton is, is back and rolling. Uh, had 14 good snaps last week and feel really uh, comfortable with him. But uh, we, we roll those guys all the time. Uh, uh, so, you know, we've got a lot of answers. And we're very, we're very fortunate because we haven't always been that way in the offensive line. Uh, it's not only do they know what they're doing, but they can, they can execute and, and get the job done. How nice is it to have CJ back on campus and does he interact with the players a lot? 
Spiller? Yeah. Uh, he was out here yesterday. I didn't see him today, but he was out here practice yesterday, and uh, they're off this week. I didn't know he was. He just popped it. I just showed up in my office uh, right before I came out to practice. Uh, so he 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 uh, he's coming to my birthday party tomorrow night. Uh, so that'll be fun. Um, but uh, yeah, always good to see those guys. It really is. Taj was Taj was uh, over today, uh, so it's good to have him back in town and. Uh, he looks good and is uh, you know, going to be around. I don't think he has to go back until May uh, for their training camp. So like where he is mentality-wise and, um, you know, excited for him. Uh, Jacoby, it, it, you know, just saw him. Jacoby is, is training, still hoping he'll get picked up. But, but I think he's, he's made his decision, too, that if, you know, if he doesn't get picked up soon, then, then I think he's going to go start over in Canada uh, and go build a nice career there. I mean, he's 28 years old and he's – Clocking four twos out here, you know. I mean, he, you know, he's in. He's he's one of those guys that he's a perfect example of what happens to to because uh, he really should be playing in the NFL right now. I've never seen him in better shape, never seen him more focused. But he's a perfect example of that league in that once you've got four or five years, you know, you 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 have to make a certain amount of money, and um, and so you know it becomes a business decision a lot of times where they take a rookie and they can pay him the minimum, and and um, so. You know, I'm excited for him though, because again, uh, you know, he's one of he's kind of one of my guys, and uh, uh, he did a lot of good things in his NFL time, and hopefully he'll get another shot. But uh, he's got a lot more football left in him, and um, you know, so he and Taj will have a chance to kind of train together and, and throw the Canadian balls and all that stuff, uh, and you know, we'll see where he ends up. But uh, if, like I said, if he doesn't get picked up, that's his plan is to is to sign on with somebody in Canada and, and uh, go from there. It's a pretty small senior class. What are your reflections as they get ready for their last home game? Uh, impactful. Uh, small but impactful. I mean, you, you, these are some grown men in this class. Um, they've accomplished a whole lot. You know, again, you, you, you know, you, you calculate in your mind a, a chance at a 43rd win, and we're not even through the season. You know, we, I hope they leave here with about 47, 48 wins uh, when it's all said and done. Um, <laughs> You know, never had a senior class do that. And so I think it's pretty special that on senior day, you know, the dime that you're, you're the day that you're honoring these guys and they're coming down the hill for the last time uh, as a player, that they have a chance to set a record like that. That's pretty cool. But these are these are just they're, they're good men. You know, uh, if, if a guy makes it in our program three, four, five years, um, you know, he, he's going to be a graduate. And he's going to be better because he came through here. Just the lessons that he learned, the, uh, you know, discipline and things like that, um, and the relationships that he establishes. Uh, just the, the overall Clemson experience. I mean, it's uh, it, it lasts a lifetime. Uh, that's why you see guys come back all the time. You know, they, they, they enjoy their experience here, and they're comfortable here. But um, this has been a group that, when you really sit down and you put it on paper and you look at what all has accomplished since they got here, it's pretty amazing. And a lot of these guys I've known since they were 15, you know, years old uh, because of the, the recruiting process. So for me, the, the best part of my job is seeing them grow up and just know that they're prepared, know that they're ready to go on to whatever's next. It's sad, too, because you know that, you know, you're, you're – I mean, I still coach Spiller. I still coach Taj. I still coach those guys, but, but it's – I just can't coach them on the field anymore. And, uh, you know, uh, so our relationship doesn't end. You know, it's, they'll be Tigers for life, and our relationship will last forever. Uh, but, you know, it's, it is a little bit sad because you just – I love being with the players. You know, I love hanging out with Matt Klain. You know, I love being around B.J. Goodson. Um, you know, these are just good people, Joe Gore. I mean, just good people that I've seen go from these young, immature people to – grown men that, you know, they're going to have wives and, and they're going to have jobs. Some of them are going to go in the NFL or whatever. But uh, that's the best part of my job is seeing that transformation and, and seeing these young young people develop into into men that are ready to go on and, and do great things in the world. Jim Brown's guy you talked about 